All right, everyone. Well, welcome back to Twin Mirror. Yesterday, I played this game for a little bit over three hours, and admittedly, I had a slow start, but it picked up really big about two-thirds of the way through my stream when we determined someone was murdered. That's right, the person who had been a complete jackass to us at the bar during the wake of your dead friend, Nick, then turned up dead at his place of work, the office of uh, the newspaper called The, the Jungle. Um, yeah, isn't it called Bass? Bass? I can't remember the name of the town. Bass something. Maybe I can find it. God damn it. <laughs> I can't find this. I can't find the name of it. The name of the town. Bass something is the name of the town. And the name of the, uh, the newspaper was The Jungle. Okay? So, no, it's not ba Bass to Mouth. <laughs> In the town of Bass to Mouth... Where everyone sucks on bass faces. Oh, it's great. No, that's disgusting. That's like, um... Last year, that fucking game that I dropped was supposed to be like, um... The town where the people were mutated fish fish freaks because they actually mated with fish and shit. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, um... Fuck! Look what I just did. I slammed... I unplugged my headphones, and now I can't stream. I can't play. I'm de I, I can't play without sound. God damn it. Anyway, um, let's stop talking about Bastamal, and let's start talking about this guy who needs to investigate the car crash. What are we doing right now? We're about to investigate the car crash of your deceased friend, Nick, because things seem very suspicious about the car crash. It doesn't seem like it was a natural occurring thing. It almost seems like maybe it's a setup based on the information that we got from the police station which was turned over to the local newspaper so we're going to investigate the crash we're going to see what happens and hopefully we're going to get information from this crash about this conspiracy between your co or your your uh the, the person who worked at the newspaper dennis who was murdered and nick who apparently died in this car crash all right is there a connection that's what we're trying to find out squanchy 42 x just did a 500 bit cheer and said man you have an amazing community thank you squanchy um i don't know if amazing is the word for it someone say uh revolting some would say stomach turning. Uh, I guess it depends on the, the game I'm playing as well. Sometimes it could be a very positive, uh, fun, jovial group. Okay? And sometimes it could be absolutely stomach turning. So it depends on who's here. And tonight it looks like we've got a motley crew of viewers tonight. We've got some people that are here for fun, some people that are here for the memes. So I guess we're going to see what happens tonight. Okay? Now everyone's pretending to be offending because I was joking. <laughs> Okay, um, thank you for the cheer and the tip, Squanchy. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Seraph, Seraph Lull cheered and said, oh, I'm not, dude, I'm not talking about that. I'm not. We are, I talked about it on Twitter. I'm not talking about that on the stream tonight. It's nothing to do with tonight's stream. Darkside Elon cheers. I wasn't here earlier. What's the tier two, tier three sub goals? Tier two was, uh, DSP tries it, which is going to happen. There is no tier three sub goal for now, unless we think of something. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the story. Let's see if we can investigate this car crash where your friend Nick passed away. Let's see if we can find anything out here that doesn't seem to jive with what we know about Nick, what we know about what possibly happened. Um, we're looking for clues. And, aha, we're, we're finding some clues. A car part? It's a hubcap. Came up during the crash, slight Debris burn marks. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. <laughs> Why would the police have left a hubcap there? It's true. Um, what's this? Uh, burn, burn marks? I can't read it. I had a clue. I think it was burn marks. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. So this whole area is burnt. What's weird is apparently the car hit this tree, but the tree didn't move. It's not a very thick tree. Right? Like... You would think a skinny tree like this would have maybe, like, moved if a car hit it. I'm not saying the whole thing would have turned over, but at least it would have given a little bit. It's kind of odd, don't you think? Scorched tree. Add the clue. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Hmm. Is there anything down near the water? No, well, not that I can see. Okay. Anything up here that could be telling, like, screw, maybe, uh, you know, skin marks of where the tires were coming from? Hmm. Not that I can see. Maybe out on the road? 
How did the car get down here, actually? Hold on. So if the car hit the tree, and the car lit up on fire, it must have come through right here. Yes, because there's the broken sign pieces. Okay. Inspect. Turning signs are missing. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? I mean, must have. Or how else the hell did he get down there, right? It must have you know, lost control and went right through these signs. Okay, grass. The look at the grass. shouldn't have been able to spread that far. There's fire here? That's odd. That's true. Why would there be fire all the way up here? If the car went down there and, was, and lit on fire, how could the fire come up here? I guess what they're implying here... The car was already on fire. Derek, this game takes place in, um, they said, West Virginia? West Virginia. The state of West Virginia. A small town. It's called Bass to Mouth. No, it's not Bass to Mouth. I can't remember the full name. It's Bass something is the name of the town. A piece of wood. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. That's not, that's not a big deal, but there's no skid marks? No skid marks. No trace of sudden breaking. That makes no sense unless Nick was already out at the wheel. He was unconscious and he just went straight through, didn't, didn't break nothing, just went boot right through the sign, right? Now, here's a clue. Tire traces? <clears throat> the tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Okay. Road signs? Look. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. <clears throat> okay. Nothing else. I think I got everything. Grass. Yeah, I think I got all the clues. All right. So what they're implying here is that he was coming down the road and possibly was already unconscious because there's no signs of turning and there's no signs of braking. He just was already unconscious and went straight off the road. Now, the oddball thing definitely is the fact that there is burn marks on the top that does not make sense. And yes, that implies the car was already on fire when he drove off the road. What the hell caused the car to go on fire on the road, right? Do we have anything else that we can figure out by looking around? Maybe possibly, you know, the other side of the road. Or maybe further up the road. Oh, a tree, tree log. What the hell? Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. Huh? Why would he try to avoid a log that's not in the road? Uh... Okay, I don't really get that. <laughs> I don't get that at all. Anything over here? It doesn't seem like there's anything over here. Oh, wait! Animal footprints. Okay. Small animal, probably a fox. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised <laughs> Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Angelo Best said maybe he was on magic mushrooms. Maybe. Maybe he was high as shit. Right? It's basswood? Okay, it's basswood. That's the name. I did it again! I unplugged my headphones again! I am a buffoon. I keep unplugging my headphones tonight. <laughs> Okay. Every time I do a big knee slap, it's basswood. I slap my headphone cord, and that thing unplugs. All right. Try not to do that again. Anyway, the town of Basswood, I mean Basswood, excuse me, Basswood. And um, I do not think that the, the fox was involved, considering a fox probably, he would, if, he, if there were a fox, Nick would have swerved. There's no swerve mark, so he didn't see an animal. That didn't cause this, I don't feel. Okay. Timbo Slice Cheerio said, with Christmas only two short weeks away, what is the one Christmas morning that stands out for you the best ever, and what made it that? All right, first of all, I'm going to answer this, Timbo Slice, but I'm going to say this. If you have questions like this, you should save them for either the Christmas Marathon on the 23rd or the Christmas Eve day, Ask the King. Why are you asking me this two weeks before Christmas? And by the way, we're more than two weeks away from Christmas. How dare you? You lie. It's only the 6th of December. You fooled me. I thought Christmas was closer than it was. All right? But anyway, to answer your question, the morning that I got the Super Nintendo, I remember opening the Super Nintendo, unwrapping it for Christmas, and really hooking it up and playing it all day long, Super Mario World. Even though I had... I remember I had other games for it. I'm trying to remember if I had Mario Kart. I think I had Mario Kart. 
and I'm trying to remember. Man, I can't remember what launch titles I had. I, I absolutely had Mario World because it was bundled with it. But I don't remember uh, what other games I had. Oh, look at this. A fuel stain. He was leaking gas. Badly, too. Look at the giant stain in the middle of the road. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? There you go. That's a big telltale sign that there was a problem. Gas all over the road. Road signs. There's a clear road sign here that says slow down 25 mile per hour turn. Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, that's it. That's the investigation. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. Okay. Cool. Uh, shout out to Rosalina Flower, who did a 1,500-bit cheer. And he said, hello, hello, everyone. And hey there, babe. Hiya, babe. What's going on, Rosalina Flower? Thank you for a very generous cheer. You, you're the top cheer of the week, by the way, Rosalina Flower. Thank you very much for that. Um, 1,500 bits. Thank you, thank you. Timbo cheered again. He said, Sally, I will not be here for those events. I see. He says, Friday will mark two weeks till Christmas. All right. Sorry you won't be here for these events, those events, Timbo. But... Yeah, the day I got my, my my Super Nintendo, for sure. That was a pretty epic fucking Christmas, for sure. There's, I, I, I know the second place as well was when I got Eternia from He-Man. The He-Man Eternia the place. Report states that thing was driving insane. Under the influence of alcohol. Here we go. You were startled by an animal. What? And drove no. through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Not that way. That definitely didn't happen that way. Yeah, see? Things don't add up. There's no way he went that way. He went straight. He didn't, he didn't swerve at all. He just drove straight down off the road. It's the only way it happened. Nice shoes. I need to find out what really happened. Yeah, see, there's no way that happened. Can't happen. He wouldn't have hit that tree. He would have been off off the side of the mountain, honestly. He would have been in the river, not in the trees. Yeah. What's that? Oh, the animal. As if he had actually hit the animal. I see. Obstacle. Animal, none, or the, the tree log. Oh. Let's try that. Well. It's possible, but it's true. If there's a heavy-ass tree log, the car probably flipped. In which, yeah, it would have been impeded. It wouldn't have continued to have forward momentum. It actually would have been lost control. So, yeah, that's implying there was absolutely uh, none. There was no obstacle at all. Huh. I mean, I don't know about none. May I do think it was none, though. I guess we gotta keep looking around. Because remember... These are the signs that are broken, right? Right here. The road signs were damaged. Two of them torn and burnt. These two? So actually, none of our scenarios line up yet. So maybe it's none of those yet. Maybe we're wrong on all three. All right, let's go up here. Maybe we can actually change the directory of the car by looking at what's at the top of the hill here. Um, let's see here. Meme mode tip me a dollar. So you hear cyberpunk streamer mode when turned on, it will not play DMCA music and it will remove all nudity from the game. Yes, and I'm going to be using it. I'm definitely going to be using it. I'm going to be using, hopefully, uh, non 
licensed music and no nudity, so that way I won't get in trouble anywhere. I'll be able to play the game and not have to worry about that shit. So there you go. <clears throat> Rick Steve Steve's Europe chases a tree growing on the Joe Rogan podcast in January to hash out your beef with Wayne. I am going on the Joe Rogan podcast, but it's it's to actually hash out my beef with Neil Druckmann. I don't have a beef with Wings. So there you go. That would be a pretty good podcast. All right, so let's see. Caught on fire, leaking fuel. Leaking fuel. And caught on fire. No. Okay, let's do two different ones. Leaking fuel. Well, if it were completely leaking fuel, right, wouldn't have left gas all over the road, which it didn't. Okay, let's try on fire. Caught on fire. They're implying if it was on fire, he would have yeah, he would have jumped out of the car way earlier. So, I guess right now, it's either going to be leaking fuel or not linked at all. Okay. Carlton Jr. just cheers. I just came here after watching a Fist of the North Star playthrough. I know I'm two years late. Thank you for finishing that game and games in general. You're welcome, Carlton Jr. Was it really two years ago? It wasn't last year? Damn. Drunk, conscious, or unconscious? Let's say... Here they're saying he's drunk. Let's say he's conscious. If he's conscious, he never would have driven off the road. That's true. So he definitely wasn't conscious. Unconscious. He's already unconscious. There it is. Now you know what? On fire. There he goes. Hits the sign. This would make sense why there'd be burn. Yes. That's why there would be the burn marks that we're seeing. So this is what it is. The car was already on fire and he was already unconscious when he drove down here. There you go, and there was no obstacle. All right, I think that's correct. Only one simulation fits the evidence. Yeah. The police report was wrong. We know what happened. He was already out. That's cool, I like that. It's a good way to do investi investigative style gameplay. Try the different scenarios and see what lines up. Look at this. Damn. Who could this be? Could this be the cop again? Maybe it's Declan again? Because we think Declan killed Dennis. Could this be Anna? Maybe Anna killed him? Why would Anna kill Nick? Hmm. Pretty fucked up. Damn. This shouldn't hit me so hard. I already suspected. There's a difference between suspecting and knowing. Hmm. The report is wrong. This was a murder. You gonna call Anna? Tell her what you found? Is that even a good idea? She'll have to know eventually. Oh, man. This is a tough question. Do we call her or not? She's already in on it. She knows what's going on now. But, I mean, let's be honest here. No, 
everyone's a suspect right now. I don't think we've ruled out anyone. So if we tell her what we've discovered, it might honestly kind of clue her in that we, we're on to her if it's her. So I say we'll tell her later. No, I better wait until I have actual proof. Practical as always. Look, I have her best. Can Anna, you, what's the matter? Um, can you come come over to the house? It's oh, what? There's been a break in. Are you okay? A break in. Yeah, yeah huh. fine. I was with my dad, and when we arrived, everything's a mess. Oh wow. I'm on my way. Not telling her right now might be for the best. I'm glad you agree. Knowledge is power. Finish the ghost scene. All right, Dark Side Elon, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Thanks for the cheer. Squatchy42x resub for two months. Thank you very much. Um, Sir Spartan King Chitty says, I was playing Cold War Zombies. My PS5 randomly shut off. That's not good. You know, you know what? Hold on a second. Everyone seems to be saying that if you play zombies for a long period of time, not only could the game crash, but your PS5 could crash. I've been reading on social media, people who are like pro-level uh, Call of Duty players are doing like big collaborative lobbies of zombies, and they're trying to get to like really high round levels. And some of them got like, like super duper far, and then pfft, the whole thing dies and crashes. And they don't know what's going on that that happens, but it's been happening to a lot of people. So apparently there might be something wrong with zombies on PS5 right now. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I, you know, the multiplayer for me, it works, but it gets choppy, but I've never had a crash yet, so. <clears throat> um, bad guy 42399 has resubscribed for nine months, said, Hey, Phil, I've been spending time with my girlfriend. Hope you've been doing good. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. All right, let's continue. Long days always find ways to get longer. Hmm. <laughs> That's Make correct. Sure I haven't had a crash careful. yet. No crash yet. Careful about how you tell Anna about what you just found out. It's a rough thing. And she was living with the guy. Yeah. But the thing Things is, she, be she might be her. She's different. You're different. She seems exactly the same. I hope I'm different enough. I can handle it. You say that. I think I can handle this. Hopefully. <laughs> Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you could never go home again. See, I like this is much better now. We got through the intro, and now it's all business about figuring out what happened in this town, and I really like this. Uh, guys, please stop with bullshit about my forums and stuff. Stop it right now. I'm trying to play a game, thanks. Enough bullshit. Okay. Please, this game has a low frame rate enough. That last I time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. A handicap accessible van brought in the last two years. You had to get a new one after the accident. Must have been very expensive. Anna's house. <sighs> Didn't think I'd see it again. Not looking forward to stepping back inside. Scott Shelby's the murderer? That motherfucker. He survived heavy rain and he came in to be the murderer here now. That piece of shit. It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house, and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, Balrog's that pissed. is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Sam, did they, did they steal my fight money? <laughs> Crazy where they were having. Doctors are important. Joe could help. You know, Anna, Joe's pretty sharp for an old man who can't walk. That's right. And Sam here's got a good mind for a fool-headed kid. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong. But she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. <laughs> Joe, I don't know. Should she's I... all I have left. 
promise me you'll protect her. The game is telling you not to word. promise shit. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. This is fucked up. <laughs> I promised... I promised Bug, right? And that backfired. Fuck it, I'll promise him. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. He didn't even ask, what is it? He's like, well, what is going on? He didn't even care. <laughs> Fucking left. Okay. I need to get in there eventually. But maybe I should look around the property first. Join Anna inside the house. Nick's death was murder, not an accident. Implications for Anna to consider? Her father's also worried about her. Now there's been a break-in at her house, so I should go inside and see what's happened. Yeah, someone obviously broke in here for a reason. Dark Side Elon said, You ever thought about sending personalized Christmas cards to regulars and patron pledgers? Absolutely not. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Okay, Bugs toy. Sitting out here. Gazebo. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. Blankets. Anna and I spend our nights out here trying to find all the constellations. All right. That is a pretty awesome view right next to your house, having a natural stream. Although, it's the most silent stream I've ever heard. There's no sound coming out of this stream. <laughs> what is up with that? They, it's like they didn't have a budget to get a stream sound effect, so it's completely silent. What the fuck? No traces to recover from here. There's also no sound to recover from there. <laughs> That's really weird. Garden. Playing within the last year, doing well, Nick and his green thumb. What does it say? I house never for got sale rid sold? of this sign. That was the old, before she bought the house, I guess. Garden shed looks intact. Okay. The stream, oh, the stream was, was playing, reportedly, the stream was playing... Licensed music and and got taken down. I understand it got muted by YouTube. All right, wheelchair ramp built after Joe's accident. All right. What is that? A forest trail? I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for fishing Sunday. Oh, I would love that. I like fishing. Relaxing. For relaxing fishing. Nothing else here. Okay, I guess we're gonna go to the front now. Oh, that's right. I can go faster? Yeah, got a whole R2. I keep forgetting about this. Does the game have music? Do you hear it? There's a little bit of, like, atmospheric music. Very little right now, though. Funeral bouquet. Faded a day or so ago. Anna hasn't picked Sent them up. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Oh, man. It's fucked up. Okay. So the door is busted. You can see the glass is shattered there. I mean, someone broke it to, to unlock the door and let themselves in. Yeah, Derek, our Life is Strange 1 is still my favorite Don't Not game of all time, but Tell Me Why was actually really good a couple months ago. So, Or was it three months ago now? I think it was September. Hmm. This place was tossed. Maybe looking for something. Yeah, look, damn. 
Anna's being attacked. Anna's not yet. having a great day. Focus on her before you go into detective mode. Major Wright, Chief, said the judges of the food fair are in higher esteem and not recognition can expire on chef for a long Sam. time, but a wave of this special can end, so each chef boy, I don't know. Tell me what you found. Whatever. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it's what you were afraid of. Hmm. But why? Why would someone... Why did they... What... Oh, Nick. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. <laughs> it's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. Yeah, like taking off your pants she in that kept situation. The drinks in the kitchen in one of the one hundred percent bad idea, trust me. You don't want to just take your pants off spontaneously in the middle of a, of a grievous scene Pantries. like that. Okay. Anyway. He says don't go detective mode. Fuck that. I'm gonna look around. Let's see. Yeah, they just, they ransacked the whole place. See that? Documents. Here we go. Kaskari, please stop saying stupid shit in the stream chat like Phil hates us. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm playing an investigative game where I need to pay attention to what's going on. And because I'm not speaking to you every second does not mean that I'm not paying attention and I don't care about you. It means that I'm trying to get immersed in the game, which is what most people are here for. I guess not you. Okay? Would you please relax. Stop it right now. Stop. Stop it. Okay. Uh, a new perspective? Each year, Greenmount Primary School showcases a new talent in art contest. Hmm. So she's... Oh, she's, a, she's writing... That's right. I forgot. She was an, a journalist, right? She writes articles. Dear Ms. Miller, my dad says writing thank you letters is what you do when someone is very nice, so I hope you like mine. I want to thank you very much for how, how, how you wrote about me. I don't know why you thought my drawing was worth talking about over, over the others, but it was very nice of you to talk about it. Okay. Could that possibly have any significance to the game? I don't know. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. So his, his medical bills are incredibly expensive. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. Huh. Okay. Oh, Mind Palace? What is Anna this? Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. So we're going to have a memory here based around this. Okay. <sighs> Mind Palace. Remember. Remember. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. What is he doing? I am not your mom, you know. Stop tweeting Neil Druckmann, goddammit! Stop trolling him on Twitter! Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. What happened? Why did he blow her off like that? That was very odd. Why would he have behaved like that? And where did this music suddenly come from? <laughs> there was no music before. Anna's posters. Okay. Books. Mostly sociology. No signs of, oh, a broken what? Broken photo? Hmm. Her neck. Okay. 
I think it was embroiled in a heated discussion about the if uh, fall, characters in Fall Guys actually have uh, re uh, reproductive organs or not. <laughs> Taking down after Joe's accident, he wanted it put back? Huh. The pantry. Oh, Jesus. She normally keeps some Scare drugs me. in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Slamming Things noise. Have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? <laughs> no. 50 bit Quan choose. You may want to start changing Neil Druckmann's rant. Charging Neil Druckmann rant because he's living rent free in my head for a while. That's correct. Actually, people always ask. He's actually living in the spare room. I don't know if you guys knew that, but Neil Druckmann lives in my spare room. No drinks in here. <laughs> Wine bottle. Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? Inspect the fridge. A note? I'm sorry about yesterday. You're right. I've been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. You don't have to forgive me. If you'd like me to invite me to a concert, I'll leave these two here. P.S. There might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. And says Nick. Nick couldn't be bothered to write his whole name. The Placeholders Concert. What is that? Look. I always oh. wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. Life is strange in France? Why is life strange in France? I don't know. I don't understand that reference. Him. Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're here for her. Okay. Big ball of big ball of Brinks cheese said Druckmann's an asshole. He killed by chickens. Well, there you go. Nothing's worse than a, a game developer who goes around just killing innocent chickens constantly. See, Druckmann living rent-free in my head, it means he doesn't have to pay for room and board, it means he doesn't have to work, which is why he has so much time to shitpost on Twitter. Anyway, uh, I couldn't get her a drink. What's this? Fix? Hi, buddy. Jasper just walked in. Hello, buddy. How you doing? This you feels like so the long. only part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. Don't Not is a French studio. Is that true? So Don't Not is French, and that was supposed to be the joke, because that they're a French studio, and life is strange in France. Get it? Okay, now I get the joke. How about a nice chin rub? There. I'm giving him a chin rub right now. <laughs> Hello, Mr. There you go, buddy. There you go, nice head and chin rub. You enjoy that? Ah, you want the attention. You want the love and attention. When I'm streaming, now you want the love and attention, you little nut. <laughs> He's so cute. Anna's vinyls. I don't think she ever collection. forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Oh, she he insulted a hipster. A hipster's vinyl collection. He he wouldn't say that they sound better than CDs. Well, you're out of control now, dude. Now you're now you're in trouble. She's gonna throw her caramel macchiato right in your face. Music sheets, song Anna played. Oh, what's he doing? He's sniffing the wreath on the the collar of. The golden deer that I have here is a decoration. He has not done this yet. He's sniffing the wreath. <laughs> what? It's not real. It's fake, buddy. It's not real tree. <laughs> I'm giving it a good sniff. The song Anna played at the wake is in there. Oh, oh, guitar. Oh, can I play a song? Can I pull a Last of Us good two thing here? It's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. We gotta play some music immediately. Take on me. This will be the second game of the year where you can do a cover of Take On Me. We got to do it. I can look at Anna, but I can't I can't give her a drink yet. I didn't find it. I don't know where I give her a drink, buddy. Rent-free. See, I told you guys. He lives rent-free in my head, so he, he probably is shit-posting right now. He's got nothing better to do. He doesn't have to do any work. 
Ah! Ah! Jasper, what are you doing? Jasper, what on earth are you doing? She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. So she doesn't want a cold drink. But we don't have any warm drinks. Right? Oh, wait. Closet. Closet. Search. Search seemed thorough. So they actually looked in those closets for whatever they were looking for. We don't know what they were looking for. Okay. Uh, what about this door? No. Where am I going to get a drink from? She doesn't, want a, she doesn't want a cold drink, but I don't see any warm drinks anywhere. Go upstairs, I guess? Could there I be drinks upstairs? I know you want to upstairs? help her by finding out what happened. No. Right now, though? Stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Okay. Why are you kicking me? <laughs> Why? Ah! Jasper's stepping on my balls. Oh. Jasper, my, those are my balls. You have your foot right on them, man. This isn't going to work out too well. Blinds? Fix the blinds. These are my balls, Jasper. Finally, there. Okay, I don't know what the significance of that was. Fixing the blinds? That door doesn't open. Where do I get a drink from? I can't find a lukewarm drink to give her. I don't see shit. Oh, wait a minute. A wine bottle? Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? <gasps> what the hell? Empty it onto the floor. They poured a whole wine bottle onto the floor. Why would they do that? Oh, can we go in here? It says it's a closet. That's not a closet. That's a cupboard. Uh, Apparently, here's where she keeps the drinks. The game developer didn't know the difference between a closet and a cupboard. Chocolate drink, lime juice, ooh! Pure lime juice is super duper sour. You wouldn't want to give someone pure lime juice. Whiskey, I guess give her the chocolate drink. Don't give her the fucking whiskey. And get her fucking drunk side, shit. I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Pure lime yes, juice. That's a, an asshole -ish move. Give her that to drink. Lime juice is usually an ingredient in uh, something else. You wouldn't just drink it straight. <laughs> uh, that's not funny at all. And I'm about to ban you. Seriously. Where? Who was that? That's not fucking funny. Team Big Nuts is making jokes about fucking suicide. If I ever see that ever again, you're permanently banned from my chat. That shit is not fucking funny. I don't want to hear it. Not in my, my my fucking stream, dude. What are you waiting for? Bring it to her already. Wait, where is it? Where's the drink? What happened to it? He poured it. Look, he poured the drink, but where did it go? He doesn't have it in his hand. He shoved it up his ass? What did he do with the drink? Chocolate helps everyone feel better. Where'd it come from? That's what? Sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Hmm. We don't know. Or is it related to Nick? Let time? her go on. Did his murderer break into my house? We're not going to interrupt God. anyone in this playthrough. I can't help uh, but being pissed me. at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. Christian just... 112 just resub resubscribe for four months. Thank you, Christian, for the resub and the support. I appreciate and that. now, sorry, I just. Thanks, Sam. We've let everyone right. rant so far. A lot has happened in the last few hours. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. 
Oh boy. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Uh, it's going to be okay. I'm here for you. You and me both ask him. She needs support. Something solid. It's going to be okay. I'm not as sure as you sound. Nick's dead. My house is trashed. Well, you did sound a bit hollow. <laughs> this whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. Hmm. He'd been gone most nights. At the bar or the fishing shack. Come home late, refusing to talk about his work. That's weird. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. Oh, gee, thanks. Thanks a lot for it the insult. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Nice Don't insult. Don't be too harsh Veiled insults. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Uh, the timing was off. You didn't want me. I didn't listen to you. Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. I didn't listen to you. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. Hmm. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. Okay. It wasn't doomed? It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant. Especially someone like Nick. It must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. Hmm. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're going to find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Carl Jr. says, I don't think I can ever talk to my ex the way this guy does uh, here. This guy has a PhD in maturity. <laughs> I guess it all depends. Like, it looks like he proposed, she turned him down. And because he was so hurt, he just left town and never came back. It wasn't like there was a giant, violent breakup where they hated each other and everything. You know what I mean? So, maybe that's why they're able to talk civil civilly to each other. I need to clear my name. I'm not leaving you alone, of course. I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. I just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. That is very understandable. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Journal updated. Look around upstairs. What she wants you to do. Alright. Yeah, Christian breakups could be na nasty. Um, it all depends. It depends on how honestly on how mature the people are involved. 
and what the breakup was about as well, of course, obviously. <laughs> like, for example, if someone's cheating on someone else, that's probably going to be a pretty, a pretty nasty breakup versus, oh, we just, we don't think we're a fit anymore, right? Two completely different situations, so. Um, wow, let's take a look here. Why'd someone wreck this picture? Joe's first birthday after I the accident? taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. Not what Anna needed. Oh, this is great. How was my breakup? Oh, it was a it was a party. We had celebrated. We had a big cake and everything, and we you know we were we had a big fiesta here when we broke up. None of your fucking business. Jesus Christ! You making this about me for to game play through? <laughs> Jeez. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. So why would that door be closed? Hmm. Oh, let's see here. Oh my god. Here we go again with this fucking guy. Henry Heimrich. Do I have gangster friends in the mean streets of Connecticut? Do I have friends that got cheated on? Uh, let's just get rid of this guy now. Let's just... <laughs> let's just... We'll, we'll, we'll head this one off at the pass. For this idiot try. By the way, I'm, I'm well aware... There's at least one, if not multiple, people restreaming the stream. So what they've done is they sent in the moron squad here to say really stupid things in the stream chat tonight and try to derail the stream. And they've also got people coming in and cheering and saying really stupid shit that has nothing to do with anything. So I know exactly what's going on. I'm not dumb. Uh, I'm not going to play your dumb fuck game. So as soon as it starts, you're out of here. And I'm going to continue to play the game and enjoy it because I actually am liking this game. Here we go. It looks like Joan's using this room now. So this is Bug's room. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Joan's things have been fully searched. Her homework? Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. What? <laughs> okay. Obviously a kid's desk, but still ransacked. Mr. Unicorn? <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Huh? <laughs> well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. This is a collectible for this segment of the game. Remember the night Joan showed up here when you and Anna were together? She was looking for you. She said she had a fight with her mom, so she packed Mr. Unicorny and her PJs in a bag. Could she spend the night? Anna took Joan in while you called her mother to let her know she was safe. By the time you hung up the phone, the two of them were baking cookies and laughing in the kitchen. Now Joan's older and her dad has moved in with Anna. You think maybe they still bake cookies? A good detective would note the absence of Joan's more recent personal belongings. Huh. <clears throat> Shuey701 says love in the playthrough. Thank you, Shuey. Um, okay. Why are there... If she's living here, why are there no sheets on the bed? This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. All right, we got Mind Palace. Let's, let's try to relive this memory, see what this is about. Okay. Dinner was pasta with our homemade sauce tonight, and it was good. King Michael keeps asking. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Pool table floating in the background for no reason. Yeah, look, all his memories are, like, floating out there. All right, here's the memory. Come on, work, you piece of junk. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep talker. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. <laughs> I have tried that. Laptop's dead, huh? If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay. Pour water okay. on it. Put it Let in the microwave. You. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? <laughs> As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. What? Whoa, wait a minute. I don't need to know about that. My princess of the typefaces. No, 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 no. Of course. She literally just said she has no Man, time for anything. Hurry up and fix the laptop. It. And now she said distracting him. What a moron. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Miss. Oh, it doesn't meds. Mess. The whole room's Not been crashed. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message. A 
What's in this? The bathroom. This is where the magic happens, right here. Here we go. Here's the clues, right there. <laughs> There's nothing. There's a bunch of cl clues on the floor. Whoa! What the fuck? As if a week wasn't bad enough already. It looks like it. lipstick. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Yeah, it looks like watch your back written in lipstick on the fucking mirror. Yeah, don't wipe it. Twin toothbrushes. Nick was very, very moved in. <clears throat> Why is it so dark in here? Because the shade's closed. We gotta open it. Okay. 